All right, so I'm gonna be opening up and disassembling this MacBook Pro. Um, this is a model, uh, A1278, uh, 13 inch model. All right, we're gonna use a PH0 or JS0 to screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You wanna keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. So I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. We have this rectangular shape, so we're gonna remove the screws and put them in that pattern. All right, so let me do that real quick. The three screws um, um, to the right on the back are longer than all the rest. Keep that in mind. There might also be some other different size screws, but um, again, you kind of want to keep them in order so that you can put the same screw back where you got it. All right? It's better to do that than to kind of mix them all up and put them in all different orders. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Just like this. All right, once we got all the screws out, we're gonna just pop the bottom cover off. The customer said they're having issues with the Wi-Fi, so we're gonna try and check for the wireless card connection. Um, the wireless card is underneath this piece here, so we're gonna try and pop that out and double check it, and then we'll see what's going on. So these connections seem okay. Okay, they seem okay. I am gonna also clean out the dust because it is a little dusty. So actually, let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. We cleaned out the dust here. Okay, cleaned out the dust from the fans as well. Okay, let's go ahead now and double check this. Um, just to be safe, uh, you can actually disconnect the battery here, okay? And then you can open up the screen and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. This will drain any residual power and will make it a lot safer to work on. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of messages. All right, so there we go. It's been about 15 seconds. Let's close this up and let's go ahead and see about removing this. Okay, again, we're gonna be using the PH0 or JS0 screwdriver. Man, I'm getting too many messages and calls right now. I don't know what's going on. Last week I had like no work and I was like in trouble. But um, now it seems like hopefully it will pick up and uh, make up for that. Anyways, we got those two screws out. All right, let's see if we can lift this out. We are going to have to take these two cables, um, disconnect these two cables. Okay, give me a second. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Okay, so we got zoomed in. All right, we're gonna pop this cable out. So the way you pop this cable out is you go as close to the connector as you can. You can use a plastic pry tool and then you just pop it straight up, just like this. They put this little foam pad on top that's kind of in the way. All right, and then we got this cable and the way you remove that, I forgot, does this have a latch? Is that what this plastic stuff is? No, that's just tape, right? Okay, we're just gonna pull this back, all right? There's two wings here. Let me actually see if I can show this in a way while I'm taking it out the way that makes it possible. All right, so what you want, I guess this cable's in the way, so we'll just pop that up to disconnect it. And then basically we're gonna go to both wings of this connector and kind of just wiggle to pull it back, all right? Just wiggle it, all right? Man, why is it stuck so strong? Okay, it is coming out and just keep wiggling. And there we go. Oh, there's this little plastic piece that was stuck there. Um, and that piece helps hold this cable in place. All right, there we go. We got that out. Man, what is going on today? All right, let me check my messages again. Give me a second. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and undo this. Oh, give me a second. I'm gonna to respond to that person, so I'm gonna pause the video real quick. All right, I'm back. They're probably gonna message me again, but let me see if we can figure this out. So we're gonna lift this up. I'm gonna flip this over. Wait, is this model? Where did they hide the wireless card on this model? I could have sworn it was in here. This is not wireless card, that's not wireless card, that's not wireless card. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on unless it's hidden inside this piece uh, or maybe it's inside the screen. It might actually be inside the screen. 
um, and I think that's where it is because this is the trackpad, this is the hard drive, this is the CD DVD drive. All right, you got the fan here, you got the keyboard backlight connector here, keyboard connector here, um, battery, you got this connector for um, the battery, what do you call, where it shows the battery indicator, how, how much life is left, and then you got this for the screen, and underneath you have the connector for the, um, the charge port. So I don't know, anyways, we're going to go ahead and put this back in, um, I was thinking of another model I guess, but let's go ahead and Put this back we're just going to line this piece back up and clip that back down all right i need to respond to this customer again give me a second all right i'm back sorry about that probably going to get a bunch more messages but anyways let's go ahead and get this connector back in i'm going to rotate this again sorry we're probably staring at my head okay so get this lined up all right and line it up and then Use the wings of the connector to pull that into place. All right, just like that. And there we go. You can see it's connected all the way. I'm gonna actually turn it this way so I can uh, pull on it a little bit better just to make sure, but should be right. I don't know why they put this foam thing on top. It just makes it difficult. All right, line up the optical drive connector as well. Push that back into place. Oh my goodness, what is going on today? Okay, anyways. So, we can go ahead and put this little plastic piece back in as well. So this basically just goes behind the wing there, okay? Just sticks onto that. Kind of a pain. I'm going to have to use some tweezers or something to do this. Alright, get that lined up and put into place, alright, there we go, oops, come on, stay over there, alright, and then just push that down, good, alright, and let's go ahead and get the battery connector back in as well, just get that lined up, push that in, and we'll just put the bottom cover back on. And that's pretty much all I'm going to show in here. I've done a lot of these models. Battery just has two screws here. It's a tri-wing. Um, and then you can pull this up and pull it out. Hard drive, these two screws. Again, I have other models where I show this this stuff. Hard drive and the RAM. RAM just pops out like that. You can pull this out and it comes out like that. Make sure if you take it out that you push it back in all the way. And then click it down. Okay. I don't know why their wireless would stop working, but uh, here we go. We got that all back together. Their wireless card might be dead, but it looks like on this model it might not be worth replacing because this is so old. Anyways, let's go ahead and get all these screws back in. Oops, did I take out other screws? Yeah, let's make sure to put these speaker screws back in, of course. All right, I almost forgot. That and this. Okay. There we go. Make sure this is all in place. Oops, I accidentally undid that one. Okay, and then let's get all these screws back in. But that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to do a PRAM and SMC reset and see if that helps. Sometimes it does. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you know how to do the PRAM and SMC reset. Um, yeah, all right. Let's get all these screws back in. Okay, getting so many messages right now, I need to kind of check them. Let's see. Normally I would mute my phone, but I had like three people all saying they wanted to come at 12. And while all those people were messaging, then more people were messaging. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and flip this thing over. Let's see what we got. We're going to do a PRAM reset or SMC reset. Control, Option, Shift on the left side, then the power button. 
Um, if you have the charger in, it'll be if it's orange, it'll go to green and then back to orange. If it's already green, you're not going to see any change. But anyways, there we go. Then we're going to do a PRAM reset, power it on, command option PNR, hold those buttons down. Okay, assuming their thing has battery. Okay, I hear it. So we should be good. And the screen should shut itself off. Oh, okay. They didn't actually shut it down properly. So, or they did some weird sleep mode. So I'm going to have to make sure to shut this down first. Okay, right now their trackpad doesn't even work. And I didn't even do anything. Oh, okay, it just took a while to wake up. All right, so I'm going to do an SMC reset. You can see it's on right now. Control, Option, Shift, Power button. You can see it shut itself off. All right, now let's do turn it on and do a PRAM reset. All right, it should start up and then it should restart itself. And if your volume is low, it should turn it back to the max. I'm going to hold the option key now. You can hear the volume is actually louder now. Okay, and I just want to see if the um, internet option comes up. Oh, wait, I'm going to have to do... Um, okay, let me turn this off. I'm going to do the internet recovery mode, which is command option R. Okay. So while the computer's booting, command option R, I believe that's internet recovery mode. Is it going into internet recovery mode? <laughs> no, it's not going into internet recovery mode. What is going on? Okay, I don't know what it's doing. I think it's just booting normally. So I guess I'll just have the customer log in and see if the internet's working. But anyways, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike. So it actually booted to regular recovery mode, not internet recovery mode. Anyways, let me see if I can log in. I pushed, okay. Yeah, there's no wireless icon here, so... I guess the wireless is not working. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye.